Hi there and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Byron. Let's investigate this silver rush. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. You have a problem with your gun? I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Okay, search your way. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Okay. Let's see. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your plan is late and I want to know What was that all about? I was just looking. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah. I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Can I move now or will you shoot me again? I didn't want to go in here, I just want to have a better look. You're the boss here, Gloria? You're, you're in charge here? You're the boss? Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Hmm. I'm just browsing. Please let me know if anything catches your eye. Okay, let's see. Uh, first of all... He had two bottle caps. Hello. So I'm being detected? No, I'm hidden. No, fuck you. In my face. Hidden. Detected. Hmm. Hidden. Interesting. Quick saving. Fuck you. And a letter to Gloria. We take all of that. Zero. That's not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot, really. Two. Well, fuck you. Uh, what else? Toothbrush. Restaurant. Revolution. This is annoying. What do they have in there? The numbers to next week's lottery? Ah, okay, that was it. So, yeah, okay, we have already... Thank you, we already did that. Um... You find any evidence yet? I'm not gonna wait forever. He has both pieces of evidence. No shit. There it is. The blood, the motive, as clear as day. They must have penned these with snake venom. But we got it. Now what? Sure, this damns them, but only if someone listens. 
Anyone you trust in NCR? Well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have their heart back west. Not sure it'll do any good, though. If he won't listen, we can do things your way. All right, let's do it. Listen to what he has to say. Okay, let's see what's up here. Who keeps locking all those things? Ooh, what is that? A plasma rifle. That is mine. An energy cell, all of a sudden I'm no longer unarmed. Haha. Uh -huh. Thank you. That is the question, really. We oui. ammunition box, okay. Plasma rifle, grenades, pulse grenades. Very good. What else do we have here? Nothing in here. Yeah, two guys in power armor sneaking around like that's going to work, eh? What's that? Is that a crutch? No. Plasma pistol too. It's in the desk. A single bottle cap. Pre war casual wear. And a dead end if I ever saw one. Now, the only thing that remains is to get out of here again. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at. Uh, what did we get actually? This recipe allows you to make Cass's moonshine. This is an agreement between the Crimson Caravan Company and the Van Graffs to undercut or eliminate all other rival caravan companies in the region, such as the Gun Runners and Cassidy Caravans. In the case of Cassidy Caravans, Gloria Van Graff has agreed to use mercenaries against Cassidy Caravans to drive down the company's value, allowing Alice McLafferty to purchase the remaining assets at a bargain price. Dear Ms. Van Graaff, it has come to my attention that Cassidy Caravans have suffered a number of setbacks recently. I can only hope that these latest unfortunate events drive that young booze hound of an owner to finally sell me her remaining assets. As per our agreement, I have bent my not inconsiderable efforts towards weakening your competitors, the Gunrunners. You can expect a mysterious and sudden surge in sales in the near future. Sincerely, AM. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of here. Take the laser pistol too. Okay. Nothing happened. Nothing ever happened here. So, um, let's see. What can I do for you, though? Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. Of course. Missile launcher guidance system. The might is the, the Smithy special. Thirty thousand? That's a bunch. She doesn't have anything that I really need. Welcome to the Silver Rush. Mind if I ask you some questions? Not at all. What do you think of the gun runners? They're our chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. 
While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. So is this a family business? Yes, it is. My brother and I run this particular branch, but our family has operations all over, particularly in California. This seems like a bad neighbor to open a store. Look around, and you'll notice two things. First, we don't lack for security. I'm not worried about anyone breaking in here or stealing our goods. Not that we don't occasionally have attempts, but even those prove useful. Do you know how much target dummies cost? Back to my point. The second thing you'll notice is that we do not sell cheap merchandise. Everything here is second to none. People who buy Van Graaff goods typically don't care where they have to go to get them. Tell me about Freeside. This place is certainly lively, that's for sure. Did you want to know something specific about it? Tell me about the Kings. Ah, the rulers of Freeside. The Kings are a bunch of boys who refuse to grow up, and this is their playground. Their leader seems different, though. The few times I've dealt with him, I've been impressed, despite myself. Unfortunately, he rarely acts. The Kings believe that everyone in Freeside can do whatever they want, provided they can back it up with force. Which suits us just fine. When we first arrived in Freeside, the Kings protested when we kicked out the original occupant of this establishment. When we reduced several of their members to glowing puddles of goo, their objections vanished. Since then, we've left each other alone. Tell me about the followers. I don't really have much to do with them. They seem to have an aversion to weapons technology, and those who possess a great deal of it. Their loss, really. What is there to do here? Well, you probably noticed the Atomic Wrangler across the street. That's pretty much the place to go around here. They make it a little loud around here at night, but the business their proximity brings more than makes up for it. Other than them, you're better off skipping Freeside entirely and just heading to the Strip. Let's talk about something else. Suits me. What did you have in mind? Um, tell me about yourself. Oh, there's not much to tell. I was born into a big family and don't get along with my parents. So here I am, as far away from them as possible. What do you think of the NCR? You must not know a lot about my family, or you wouldn't have asked that. The Van Graffs and the NCR have been enemies for decades. They've tried to block our expansion for years, but we've managed to grow regardless. The problem is, they have too. The NCR is huge now. We're talking on a scale that's difficult to imagine. Time was, we could fight them and hold our own. Not so anymore. My family has enough men and guns to field a small army, but the NCR can field a really, really big army. Fighting them is out of the question now. Yeah, there is strength in numbers, right? What do you think of the Legion? I've only heard rumors, since this is the furthest east our operations go, but the rumors are pretty scary. They're said to be a huge slaver nation, with all the soldiers obeying their lord with unquestioning obedience. Sounds like a man I'd like to meet. What do you know of Mr. House? Very little, same as everyone else. We attempted to deal with him when we first moved into the area, but had no luck. He must have his own weapons supplies to keep as many laser-armed robots operational as he does. Makes me wonder where they are. Hmm, I was wondering if he had any work available. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Sure, count me in. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Simon says, eh? Okay, let's see. Birds of a feather. Do I get my shit back? Yes. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. That's right. Well, no time for pleasantries. I've got your gear right here. But let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. So, I'm assuming I've... Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit there. Um, what do I wear? Probably combat armor. 
What do we have here? I could repair the pulse gun some more, thank you. And we happen to have uh, two plasma rifles. Area, when I get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation bag. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference? Laser or plasma? Laser. Oh, what's the difference? Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Plasma, on the other hand, is slow as a mule, but with a kick to match. So, what'll it be? Um, I don't know. Plasma. Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just assaulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point. So the view's not too bad. So, okay. Um, that means I have equipped the wrong armor or what? Oh no, you already gave it to me and I am equipping the Van Graaff plasma rifle. That would make me look like that. Settle in. You got some hours left before your shift ends. Why have you drawn your gun? Fine. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Where comes one? Where? Who? You? I highly doubt you will do anything. Buy some decent clothes before you buy a gun. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in. Company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. That was easy. Another one coming. You're on. Where? Oh, he. Let's see what he does. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? We're going to have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Who's Heads next? Up. Looks like we got another customer. You. What? Howdy! I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Certainly, sir. We need to pet you down for weapons first. Now, hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? 
I'm sure you're a man of your word, sir, but we still need to pat you down. No exceptions. I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice... He's clean. See? Told you so. Yeah, but, you know... You have to make sure. Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Who? Someone's moving over there. Will be for a few hours till they actually get here. Now this is actually fun. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Um. Sorry, we are going to have to search you first. He's a suicide bomb. You can actually let him in and he will blow the hell out of the place. Ah, uh, but no. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? It's a company policy. Now, are you going to let us search you or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Hey! Come on! Now, what in the hell do you suppose that was about? Help me clean this up. No one's gonna want to shop here with the corpse out front. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, Rookie. Things are about to get interesting. Okay, who are you? Cass, you're in the way. Nice gun, by the way. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. We can afford the help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I'll, sh I'll be sure to pass it along. That's a good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Fine, whatever. Can I have my own shit then? Like... Brotherhood shit? Ah oh, no, don't tell me, don't tell me I have to... I have to equip everything again, god damn it, I hate it when they take my stuff away! Okay, so first thing first, this was number one... And this was number three... Um, This is number four... This is number five, and this is number six, and this is number where is it? Eight. Very well, let's get in. Evening. Evening yourself. I was just telling Gloria about your performance. Hell of a first day, huh? Well, let's see. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with. Assuming you're still interested in making some money. Keep talking. 
There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Okay, um, fine, whatever. Before we do that, we will actually do something different. You got a problem? No, thank you. No problems. Actually, we take off our armor again. And uh, quick travel to a place called Crimson Caravan. You can or you can keep the helmet on. Nobody will freak out if you're wearing a Brotherhood helmet, but if you wear the armor, they lose their shit. Hi. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. McCarran uh, needs a regular shipment of Brahmin meat and spices for the mess hall. Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. The bigger issue is payment. To supply the camp with meat will cost some serious caps. Mm. Give him a deal on the price. You will have the upper hand in future, more important negotiations. Well, the Fargo traders have been trying to edge us out on the new armor contract for the troops. This could swing things in our favor. All right, let McCarran know they should expect the first shipment in a week or so. Can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Where does the Crimson Caravan Company get its merchandise? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Do your caravans ever have trouble from bandits? Out here we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient though. But hopefully we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. Where are you from? A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. Show me what you have for sale. Can do. And he actually has some um, ammo. Ooh, isn't that? That's cool. I want that too, thank you. I'm taking your bobby pin. I'm taking the duct tape. Where do you have that? That's for an SMG. What's that? Stress and the modern refugee, a primer. We take that. Tiny, tiny babies. All you need to know about pediatric medicine. I take that too. And I have things for you, my friend. You could take. Um, what would you want? Not a power armor, of course. Could give you the combat armor. He has 12 fucking thousand. That's a bunch.
Okay. So, do we sell the combat armor? Well, I probably can sell it. On, on second thought. Nah. I'll sell it later. Oh, cool. I still need to find a book. Uh, no, wait, what? I got it all. See ya. Okay. So, first things first, we go to Camp McCarran. I don't even have a gun equipped. Oh, better. I see, it looks like I have to switch uh, ammunition again. Let's see. Ah, uh, better. Better. Okay. So, hey, hey, back for seconds, huh? The Crimson Caravan agreed to trade meat and spices at a generous discount. You managed to swing us a discount and cover the majority of the meat supply we need. Good work. Hmm, goodbye. So I guess that was everything, right? I gave you something to spice up the food. I gave you meat, and I repaired your thingy, your machine. That means we're good, right? Even. I'm assuming. It's an unmarked quest, so I don't know. Whether it's supposed to be like that or something broke because I didn't get the final completion mes message. So that was a thing. Um, what else? Bring the... Okay, I can do that. I can bring him his books. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Apparently I'm thirsty. Not the worst. See? Much better. Not here. Not here. Oh, he was up there, right? There he is. Lieutenant Muckland. Yeah? What is it? Um, I found those books you wanted. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. You're bringing me these supplies saved a lot of people. Don't swear that. I was glad to help. Well, still. Thanks again. And we've gained karma. So, uh, that actually was kinda nice. So we need to go where now? Deliver the package. Oh no, wait, wait. The evidence, yes. The whole thing with the evidence. Um.
Let's... Yes, yes, nuclear winter, I know. It's kind of hard to say that after, you know, the apocalypse actually happened. Where is the ranger? He should be somewhere around here. Hey, oh, here you are. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. I have evidence of a caravan conspiracy. What is it? Let me see. All right, this is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was Legion work, but... Can you get it to the right people? I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see that justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go, but you and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? You have all world. That'll have to do. God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling? If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. It felt like the right, right thing to do. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. Okay. Well, that's settled, I suppose. Are you alright? Feels... I don't know. I guess I feel relieved. I don't know what I feel. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, is going to be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. Cass has gained a calm her heart perk, giving her a permanent health bonus. And we get 450 XP. Let's move on. Alright then. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. So apparently I'm hungry too. Where is my party? Give me a gecko steak. Where is Cass? Oh, here. So, where do we go from here? Deliver the package to a man at the designated location. Somewhere around here, apparently. It's in this direction. Oh hi. Maybe I should wear my armor. A giant red scorpion. Someone's looking to catch their chips early. Maybe I Um Armor piercing for the win. Very good. So we should be heading into this direction. But we will do that in the next video. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.